Sinclair. As much as I tried to play the tough, independent woman who don't need no man, all my friends knew that I've always been a sappy romantic at heart. All I wanted from life was to be happy and live with my perfect guy and the perfect love. The kind of love people spend their lives searching for. The kind of love I found in you. It all changed in 2016 when Nick told me about this girl on Instagram named Hong who lived in Perth. He told me he was scared to embark on a long distance relationship. After he poured his heart out to me at some random Macca's car park, my advice to him was, every time you speak about it, you smile and giggle like a little boy. So you'd be mad if you didn't give it a go. Thank you for being the kind of husband who stays up late to help me no matter how tired you are. And the kind of husband who always asks how you can make things easier or better for me. The kind of husband who still loves me despite my OCD and tiger wife antics. And the kind of husband who always tells me how beautiful I am, opens doors for me and agrees to all my crazy travel itineraries. When I first met Hong Vu, I heard of her name and all I knew was she did Muay Thai and she was a badass bitch. Hadn't met her but intimidated already. Uh, little did I know, she is actually the girl with the biggest heart. She treats her friends like family. And over the past few years, I've been lucky enough to gain another amazing friend and knowledgeable guy. He could dupe of a scary, bold man, but really, he is a teddy bear. His heart and hug so big, he is the perfect person to love the girl with the biggest heart. The past five years have been full of special memories. From the first time you slid into my DMs, our first date, the first time we said I love you, our first fight, the first time meeting each other's friends and families, and the first time we got to start living together. These moments have been some of the most memorable moments of my life, and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives making a million more first times. It'll never be too late to hope. It never was enough to cope in Welcome everyone to the wedding of uh, Hong and Nicola. Uh, as we all know, Hong and Nicola already ran off actually to get married in secret, but it was no real big secret because they told everyone anyway. But uh, have gathered us all here today to celebrate their love and the union of these two families. Something's on the way. Water for the soul, sun to make it grow. Hong, it's been a while since we said I do. I feel the same way as I did back then, all those weeks ago. In my reflection of the past five weeks, being a husband has been the best thing I ever did. I knew when I first met you that you were, some, that you were someone really special. From the times we would spend hours talking on the phone, to our first date when we went to a galactic circus, where you won one game and let me win the next six. There's no doubt you and Nick are soulmates. I know Nick really loves you. The fact that he talks about skincare and eyelashes and made the big move to Perth many years ago really shows how much you've shaped him for the better. And I can see how incredibly happy he is today and during the last five years. Something's on the way. I feel so lucky to have met you when I did and to be able to share all that we've shared. I will grow old with you and never stop growing with you. I'm so happy to be able to tell you again. I still do, I will and I always will. Whatever I have, I'm yours. I love you.
Now to the newlywed. Really knowing you, I can confirm this fairy tale is real. To be in awe of the life you've made together and the love you share as a couple, you truly both have turned your dreams into reality. Individually, you have already established great life resumes for yourselves, but together you're unstoppable in living life to the fullest.